Some people may be up to speed on this and some people might not be. Because um, of every, all the crazy that's yeah, our, our, food, <laughs> our food chain and food supply continues to be under attack. And this was a raw dairy co-op in Michigan, Nourish Co-op. Um, they had to dump over $90,000 worth of product. Now, this co-op is a collaborative of many local uh family owned dairies and micro dairies and this is basically this co-op is where all of these different families um sell their goods so it's kind of like a hub so this affected a lot of families and a lot of local small um this comes from getrawmilk.com uh, Nourish Cooperative was ordered to destroy their raw milk, raw butter, and other raw dairy products in their inventory by the Michigan Department of Agriculture and Rural Development uh, due to licensing issues. So these other attacks that we've documented, like Amos Miller, these were FDA, so these were federal um, issues. This is a local state issue, and we see why was Nourish Cooperative ordered to dump their raw milk? Michigan is a herd share state consumers must buy into a private member association to acquire raw milk and raw dairy products from producers nourish cooperative was selling raw milk to their members under a feed license their raw dairy products were labeled as pet food now we talk about status jujitsu yeah and one of the things that jack spirko always talks about is status jujitsu and he points to um the state of virginia where they did this effectively um, and my only contention to status jujitsu is when they want to nail you to the wall with their 80,000 trillion regulations, they do it. Even if you are properly operating sure. in yep. a status jujitsu fashion, even if you have a PMA set up and it's set up right mm -hmm. when they want to be totalitarian dictator turds scumbags, yeah. they do it, you know, and yeah. that's what happened here. Uh, their raw dairy products were labeled as pet food, a common distribution venue in other jurisdictions. But the state of Michigan claims this is not allowed under its feed licensing regulations. A cease and desist order was issued on May 28th. On July 3rd, 2024, the co-op was ordered to destroy thousands of dollars worth of raw milk, raw butter, raw cheese, and more under the MDARS observance. This is a state-level action carried out by the state of Michigan, not federal. While the state has ordered an increase in biosecurity, listen to the buzzwords, biosecurity. You're going to see this biosecurity stuff with this whole bird flu that's crossing mm -hmm. over into cows because they want to, you know. So biosecurity efforts by all dairy farms due to bird flu. No connection to this order has been identified. Hypothetically, this action might be the result of one or more agents with MDARD attempting to shut down nurse cooperative cooperative in a roundabout way as a result of heightened bird flu anxiety and there has been much speculation regarding this now remember when we talked about mental illness you know there if there is a heightened bird flu anxiety that is from mental illness that's mm -hmm. from people that aren't eating whole foods and raw milk and meat and other things that are very good for your brain okay there's been much speculation regarding this. Given the media hype, this assumption is understandable. We currently have no evidence that this is the case. The co-op began operations last year. It makes the most sense. It makes the most sense that a year or so is how long it would take MDAR to become aware of the farm, investigate their use of the feed license, determine that it is use is outside the state's realm of permitted use, order them to cease and desist, and order the destruction of this inappropriate food needless waste over petty technicalities we have no reason to believe this food was produced under any different of standard than if they were distributing through a herd share as seen in the video tons of good food was destroyed due to improperly structured paperwork they asked the state if they could keep the food for themselves mm -hmm. but the state of michigan denied this request nor could they give the food away oh, or good. restructure this inventory under a pma a uh, private membership association nourish cooperative claims to have lost 90,000 in damages to the inventory due to this regulatory action. If you'd like to help pad their losses while they reorganize their product with legal guidance, 
you can find their campaign at Give, Send, and Go. We're going to link their Give, Send, Go uh, in the description. The other thing we're going to do is I'm going to go to their Give, Send, Go right now and read the update. Okay. So we have the June 6th update. So this was update number one. All raw cheeses, raw honey, pork lard have been released for sale and removed from the cease and desist. Sourdough products will be available for sale in one or two weeks. Um, MDARD is trying to tell Nurse Cooperative that it's illegal to sell other raw dairy products like raw milk and raw butter for pet consumption. We have lawyers actively researching this and preparing a court hearing. Okay, so then there was another update. So there was two more updates yeah, on update, July 5th. Update number two. On Thursday, June 13th, MDARD finally was able to get two inspectors to the property to witness the product disposal after several email requests business must go on hillary and the other inspector christopher the lead feed inspector at mdard showed up at the farm at 2 30 p.m their job was to witness the destruction of the raw dairy products in our fridges we asked christopher and hillary whether we could keep some of the products for personal use and dump the rest into a large bin so that we could feed it to our animals they called an unknown connection at MDARD who denied this request. There was no reason provided. The product had to be thrown into the dumpster. Mm. But as government employees, they can't throw anything away. So they forced us to do it. The first step was to mm. get a count on all the products in the fridge under seizure to ensure that none of the products had been used or sold since their last visit. All products were removed from the fridge and then counted. Once all products were accounted for, it was time to discard them in the dumpster, and we couldn't put the jars in the dumpster. The required process involved taking off all the lids of each product, throwing a, throwing the lids away, stacking the products into cardboard boxes, and then utilizing the tractor forks to move over 25 large cardboard boxes to the dumpster. The lids were removed from the jars to ensure the product would spill. Yep into the dumpster because they want to want them to pick it up not be able to pick it out afterwards and utilize the glass shattered uh the glass shattering would have taken care of this regardless as that created quite a safety hazard once all the products had been discarded christopher documented a few pictures of the dumpster and hillary recommended we ask the dumpster service to come sooner otherwise it may really start to smell oh thanks like hillary her. There you go. Then the two inspectors, they're just trying to keep everybody safe. They're just doing their job. The two inspectors left the farm. Hillary and Christopher, to their credit, were very cordial during the visit. After all, they were just doing their job. I knew it was good. They were just doing their job under the mm -hmm. current MDARD policies. Sarah Armstrong recorded all the videos and was a witness to the food destruction. She described her mix of emotions from the day as disheartened, sick, and disgusted, angered, saddened, and repulsed. So I think Dr. Mercola did a summary on that. But, you know, these, these status goons that are just doing their job and they destroy people's lives and destroy yep. purpose, perfectly good food, uh, they should not get a pass by anyone for just doing their job. Um, there was lots of people that tried to use that in... Um, international courts and that, that didn't work as a defense uh in international uh for international war crimes just doing your job is not a defense so uh, update three on july 5th the next round of raw dairy destruction took place on wednesday july 3rd at nourish co-op with almost all the remaining cease and desist products forced to be thrown in the dumpster the government officials involved were unwilling to throw out the product themselves forcing our employees on the clock to spend over four hours packing up the product, transferring it to the dumpster, then taking off lids and caps and tossing it into the dumpster upon their inspection. Each product tossed was counted to ensure no products placed under seizure were used or sold. So, and they have the clips here on their give, send, go, where you can watch all that awesome stuff happen. And once again, the, the small local farmer is un under attack and we cannot allow these regulatory bodies, nor can we allow employees of these regulatory bodies to just function as normal. And look, my job is to keep people safe 
and I'm just doing my job like that. That does not that does not cut it. And really, these people should get an honest job delivering pizzas and leave innocent farmers alone that are just trying to provide a high quality product. And in the age of conformed consent, when people are know what they're doing and they're making educated decision on how to feed themselves and how to treat uh, illness and nurse themselves, they should be allowed to do so unmolested by the feds or the state. And uh, states need to do more to protect their own citizens' rights. And one of the best things they could do is shrink the state administration by about 98%. And that could be said of the federal government as well, shrink it about 99.9% mm -hmm. and everything would be a thousand percent better. Um, but yeah, we will, uh, we will link the give, send, go. Uh, currently they have raised about 78,000 of the 90 that they're trying to raise. You know, they they have, um, of course, legal fees and all this stuff as they try sure. to battle this yeah. out, but encourage them. Um, I think they have established their PMA. So if you're local and you want to join that, um, I think they might've even capped their PMA now because there was such a massive response. Yeah. But, um, check that out. Uh, once again, farmers are under attack mm -hmm. and, um, it's just, it's just bizarre. Y'all it's just bizarre. We're, we're nothing. Yeah. And you know, we get debanked and now we're trying to handle all that. And then yesterday our YouTube got completely demonetized. Yeah. Um, supposedly for animal cruelty. Yeah. Um, so food for thought, something to think about. Um, yeah. I don't really know how that works, but then again, I'm not a lizard person. Maybe if I was a lizard person, maybe at some point in time we kicked a lizard or something uh, like that. I'm not sure, but um, maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, we're completely demonetized for, for anybody that ever complained about um, ads being in any of our videos. Yeah. That shouldn't be the case. So if you do see an ad, please comment down below. Let us know. Because <laughs> um, we are completely demonetized. Mm -hmm. And because of that fact, uh, we do want to encourage you to go to the TexasBoys.com, support us over there if and when you can. I realize we can only process through PayPal at this present second. We're spending lots yeah. of money to fix that. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get it fixed yep. in like 30 or so days. Um, but I think, did you want to, did you have any other thing that you wanted to uh, comment on the? The co-op deal or? Uh, not really. It's just crazy. It just speaks for itself. Yeah, and... it does really. It just speaks for itself and just how much sway the government has, you know. And Yeah, ranchers just... are getting their water rights messed with in yeah. Idaho. I mean, every state, our food system is completely under attack. I just love, it's just classic government overreach when they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, you know, oh, you can't sell it. And we want, we want you to throw it all away. Oh, but we're not going to throw it away. You have to throw it away. Yeah, it's that's just <laughs> classic. So classic. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, at the bare minimum, you couldn't like waste your time and like do it. No, we have to waste your time as well too. Like, yeah, even though we're supposedly public servants and we're on mm -hmm. we're on the tax payroll, and oh, you literally goodness. pay our salaries. Uh, no, you have to do that. Yeah. So not only do you lose, you pay your employees. Yeah, not only do you lose to ninety thousand dollars your own inventory, product. Now yeah. you have to pay all your people by the hour so that we can stand here for four hours with yeah. our bloated waistlines and our swollen heads from our terribly McDonald's. malnourished brains that make it justifiable for us to come here and harass you and yeah. to harass and collect. Yep. And then we can go home at night and sleep at night thinking yep. that we did something besides, you know, lay sideways in the public that's trough why they made happy pills y'all and suck up the payroll yeah and then and then you compensate by taking your well well butrin and mm -hmm. your xanax i promise you and the next thing you know you're um whoever the uh supposed lone gunman was and of course he has three names like mark coke miller something uh, it's always yeah, his last name's crooks yeah yeah 
Mark Miller crooks or something. And it's always got to be like some ultra honky dude too. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. super honky. You know? So honky. Yeah. It's so hilarious. <laughs> they all look the same, which is yeah. kind of weird. Like oh, dude. all these shooters look the same. Right. It's weird. Super cracker. <laughs> all right. Super cracker. <laughs> okay. So of course. Yeah, of course. Oh my goodness. Uh, all right, y'all. Well, you know what we need right now? We need a verse of the day. I think we need to regroup with the verse of the day. Verse of the day is actually three verses, y'all. That uh, we need a verse of the day so bad. I'm going to read three verses to y'all. This go. comes from Psalm Psalms four. Uh -oh. One through. Uh, sorry, Psalm <laughs> one, four through six. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff with the wind driveth away. Therefore. The ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So take heart, y'all. The way of the ungodly shall perish. And Jesus is coming back to take vengeance upon the wicked and to set all things right. And hopefully, you know, hopefully... Carolyn, you know, hopefully Carolyn and Richard, whoever this other stooge bot was, you know, hopefully they get right and get mm. things straightened out. Yeah. Um, because I don't know. I you just you just don't you can't just, well, it's my job. I'm just doing yeah. my job. That yeah. doesn't that doesn't that doesn't work, doesn't yeah. cut it. And you know, and this also speaks to these overarching topics like Trump and the coup and the assassination mm -hmm. attempt and you know, uh MK Ultra, all these things. Um God's in control. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So there you go. Yep. That's your verses of the day. There you go. Hope that edifies you and uh, exhorts you. Yeah. Good. Maybe it admonishes you if you need it. Uh, we all need that. So that's the verse of the day. And then um, what do you want to do around the farm? Yeah, we could do around the farm. So what's, um, what's going on around, around the, farm? the farm? Oh, we. Uh, me and James were finishing up a job for uh, a neighbor, bathroom renovation. A neighbor and a subscriber. Neighbor and a su subscriber. He possibly might be listening to this podcast. He I don't know. Is. Um, anyway, you know who you are. And uh, we got done doing his bathroom. Turned out amazing. Um, got it pretty stinking good for how out of level and not square that bathroom was. Uh, we gave it our best. We gave it the old college try and uh, it ended up looking very, very beautiful. And anyway, so we're finishing up doing the last finishing touches on there. And uh, James is always has his head <laughs> on a swivel when it comes to deals and buying stuff and everything like that. Yeah. And um, he was yeah. like, hey, look at this horse trailer. Like, you know, that's that's how it is. It's almost every day. Hey, look at this horse chair trailer that looks like a good deal and most of the time it's like yeah it that's a reasonable reasonable price but it's not like a good deal like i'm interested it's like yeah you know but i don't need it for that price you know so anyway so uh he showed it to me and i was like dude that's sweet and uh yeah it was two they wanted two thousand bucks and it's called a weekender horse trailer and it had it has a bed in there the ac works and all this stuff and uh, he sent us photos of the inside because it has the front sleeper um, and then it has the back. It, the thing's 26 feet long and then the back like maybe a little bit, maybe like 18 foot in the back is for the horses and everything like that. Or you could haul cows in it. And then the front half's for like has a sleeper. And I was like, dude, that thing is sweet. So anyway, so I'm like, if it is what they're saying, I'm like. That would be a super sweet deal right now because right now trailers have went up in price. Like, you know, it was it's kind of really tricky to find trailers for less than four thousand dollars. Anyway, so we went out there and it was a young couple that had it and they only had one horse that they were rodeoing with and everything like that. And they just bought a brand new bumper pool. And yeah, so we picked up a really good trailer, had brand new tires on it, uh, you know, needs a couple little things done. Uh, the inside, the sleeper weekender cab, uh, just needs some insulation put in it, uh, to keep all of the heat out of it. The AC does work. 
Uh, we're going to rip out. It has some like carpet on the floor. We're going to rip that out, put some nice carpet down, going to beadboard the inside of it. All of the boards, um, deck boards inside the horse trailer part are brand new, uh, which is great. The roof's solid on it. Uh, I think the left uh, light, the grounding has to be connected up a little bit better, but that's trailer light. Trailer lights are, you'll never, they're, they will always give you trouble. So I was like, whatever, you know, that comes with trailers. So, um, and it's a gooseneck. So yeah. Oh, and the trailer brakes work too. So that was big, uh, big uh, deal that we got. And uh, yeah, very excited about that. And James is always excited to have a new little project to tinker around with. So uh, try and think. We got a metric ton of rain. We haven't done a podcast, but we got uh, that tropical storm six, hit us. Yeah, so we, we ended up uh, getting six plus inches of rain. What, what was that 10. thing called? Burl, Burl. Burl or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we got a lot of rain from that. Stone. Precious stone. Yes, yes. Um, and anyway, yeah, everybody's everybody's been hanging like crazy. Uh, we'll definitely be getting in another, probably about another month. We'll we'll go ahead and get another cut of hay from at least one pasture. The uh, the fruit trees are ripening. We're mm -hmm. getting yep. uh, peaches. So if you have food for us in a box, we've been getting that white cling free yeah. peach, the Texas white peach, which yeah. is spectacular again this year. Except for it was an incredibly large tree and it cracked in half. Um, so I'm going to have to once all, but the fruit's still on it mm -hmm. and it's ripening. So yeah. once that ripens, I'm going to trim that. There's a lot of figs, uh, ripening right now. Chicago hardy, Salem dark, LSU tiger. Yep. Um, a bunch of unknowns. Uh, mm -hmm. a lot of them are drying on the tree, which is incredible. Like, uh, it's just, just shriveling up. Yeah. So they're spectacular because not only mm. do they fully ripen, like the LSU tiger is drying on the tree. Like in a good way, you're saying. Yeah, in a good way. Okay. So yeah, okay. it's incredible. Um, awesome. It's very interesting. It's a, it's great. a great year. I knew this year would be a great oh, year yeah. for uh, fruit crop. So that's my only deviation from the carnivore diet is a little bit of figs eating here and the there. seasonal fruit. Yeah. Um, the Primark blackberry has been great this year, mm -hmm. and the figs are great this year. The peaches are great this year. Looks like we're going to have a pretty good pair. We got hit pretty hard with a pear blight. Yeah. Even the Asian pears got hit, which is really strange. Yeah, to it's me. weird. But it's weird. Every year it's a little bit different. So you always got to vary your species and stagger your ripening dates and all these different things. Mm -hmm. So that way you get some type of consistency. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. So that's what's going on around yeah. the farm. Yeah. And then we could just go into health check. Yeah. So what's your, um, what's your health, health check? check? Doing good. Uh I'm not out and about as much as you are, but you were saying that a lot of people have been getting sick with a like lot of people stomach viruses sick. Yeah. or something. Lots of rando stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, and we're still free. Uh, we're still health. Yeah, yeah. Healthy and everything. And the, like the that, only thing I great. do other than eat only meat once a day, uh, and I eat uh, my seasonal fruit, mm -hmm. um, is I do the meal, meal med sinus rinse when yes. I feel like yeah. a little like. Or if I'm around sick people, I just proactively gotcha. do that. And uh, I'm right as rain, man. Cool. Uh, can you say that on the podcast, the Neil Med, or no? That's Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I guess so. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know a new speaky way to say it. So, yeah, I guess you can just, <laughs> you know, mention something that's available over the counter that's basically... Uh, <laughs> sodium bicarbonate and salt that you mix in water i i guess that's uh okay to say or whatever okay but who knows i mean you know uh <laughs> i know lizard people are in control you, you know. never know yeah. you never know no, that's um all. yeah health check been doing good uh actually found some pretty cheap weights on amazon so i ordered uh i got 40 new pounds of weight that i've been doing with my olympic bar so that's been a lot of fun you ordered some new plates yeah Yep. Oh. Got new plates. Uh, yeah, I got 40 new pounds. So now I, that's what came in those boxes. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. then you just ordered a weight sled, right? And then I just ordered a weight sled. It is the 16th. So it is prime day. Didn't know that till this morning. And I was like, wait, Oh, it's prime day. So anyway, we originally, me and dad have been really liking watching, uh, Baker's videos. Um, Sean Baker, Sean Baker. Yeah. yeah. 
Sean Baker. I always forget his last, He's, his uh, first name. Sean Baker's video. Nature, that guy. And he is straight. Like, if you ever wanted to know what a Superman would look like, that guy is like the living Superman. Yes, He's like nature. insane. So anyway, he's always using his weight sled. And I'm like, man, I really want to get a weight sled. And I got quite a quite a bit of weights now. And also with feed, we, we're always getting feed here on the farm. So we can throw some feed sacks on there too. And just uh, this thing comes with a... Uh, a chest strap and it has nicer handles. And since it was on prime day, I was able to actually get a really nice one for about like 170. You can um, drag it or pull it, yeah. drag it, pull it, uh, push, push it. it. Yeah. So it's going to be really cool. Uh, definitely going to want to test that out. Maybe we'll make some shorts about it. Yeah. That would be really cool. Yeah. yeah. So that'll be coming pretty soon. Um, but yeah, how about you with your health check? Doing great. Still eating nomads, eating about a pound of ground beef a day, uh, usually with Swiss cheese, mellow Swiss cheese on it. Uh, I do have a new way of incredibly undercooking my burger. <laughs> I started doing it in cast iron uh, on butter. But the challenge I would have is to sear the top and the bottom. I would kind of start to burn the butter. So now what mm. I do is I turn the burner on, heat the pan up, melt the butter. Then I put the, I put the burgers in and turn it, turn it off. Oh, okay. So I turn the burner off. So you first do a preheat. Yeah. Preheat it, it, get it up to temp, put the butter in, melt the butter, put the burger in. Then I had the burger in there for like a minute or two and then I flip it. So it's brown already on mm -hmm. one side. Then I turn the burner off. And then I let the other side cook, and then I put the cheese on the top. Uh, and then what I might do is I kind of eyeball it, and sometimes you got to turn the butter back. You got to turn the burner back on just so that it starts to uh, the butter starts to roll boil again. And then you turn it off, and then you have just enough heat. You put a lid on it. The cheese melts, and it is incredibly medium rare in the center with just a hint of cooked around the edges. And then you put the burgers on your plate and then you pour all the butter back on top of the burgers. And it is out of this world, incredibly good. And I've been eating one pound of burger a day like that for mm, the next last 60 days or so. And I'm not tired of it yet. And um, I'm clicking on all cylinders. That's awesome. Oh, hu huge update. Check this out. So, and I used to be incredibly lean. I was really skinny and little coming out of high school. Mm -hmm. And then I went from about, when I went full meathead, I went from about 135 to at my biggest, I was like, at my biggest, I was, hmm. I was like almost, I was in the 180 somewhere right there. Okay. So I went from 135 to 180. You know, right now I'm probably like 163. I've lost a lot of size, but um, I, oh, because of the, because of the size of my legs, even when I was incredibly thin, I always wore 32 inch pants or shorts mm -hmm. because of my quads. I wanted the legs to feel loose. Uh, I've never been into these like, gay skinny jeans or tight jeans or anything like that yeah. and um, or tight shorts yeah or tight shorts yeah. any of that none of those uh bill lambeer coochie cutters that no none of those daisy dukes for men or anything like that so um all of my pants and shorts i'm like man I, i'm putting this belt on and and uh so my wife's like why don't i just buy you some 30s hmm. so she bought me two pairs of oversized cargo shorts i only like certain clothes y'all um <laughs> and but she ordered me size 30 waist and they fit and they're not tight they're loose at the waist so i can't remember the last time i had a 30 inch waist but yeah i have a 30 inch waist and that kind of just happened that's just happened over the last six yeah. months or so i saw that you were trying out your uh 
uh, what do they call those? Stim yeah. Yeah. Your stimulus. My thing. e stim. Now that yeah. my shoulder continues to improve, now I'm doing e stim on it just as an exercise routine. Um, okay. I'm still doing the pool exercises. Mm -hmm. They're going great. I'm still, uh, I'm still somehow I'm still improving. So, That's you know, great. this is what I hear. The more I interview carnivore people and we're going to continue to have more interviews and hopefully a lot more carnivore interviews because I want to keep documenting this for people. Uh, everything that I see is, you know, it takes you, look, it takes you a very long time to get ill and sick. I mean, sometimes Correct. you can do it really quickly. If you're very proficient at making yourself sick, you can do it quickly. If you've done it over the course of a time through something that was seemingly positive, like a plant-based diet, which sure. is what a lot of people have done, you make yourself very sick, very slowly. Yes. And when you do that, you're when you, as you're healing, going to take a very long period of time to heal all the way so what i'm noticing and what other people are noticing is that even after they've started eating this way for an extended period of time sometimes it's two or three or four years they're still seeing a progression in health um freedom of range and motion and all these different things mm -hmm. and that's what i'm experiencing that's awesome um, that's great so it's very encouraging and it you know it, it's just reinforcing the fact like yeah just keep doing this keep feeling better mm -hmm. um you keep uh you know looking better and you know you're you're achieving your your goals and different things so it's a very i, I cannot encourage any of y'all enough try for two week, weeks do it for real be yeah. serious about it and then analyze the results yeah it's all about who what when where and why it's all mm -hmm. about logic ration and reason experiment try it if it works continue yeah. to do it do it till it doesn't work yeah and then and when you do do it don't try to sabotage it to then be like oh well i tried it and it didn't work right you know yeah full actually do lots it. of people do it yeah yeah but all right. I think that's it. Well, y'all, it's been another great yeah. podcast. Hope you enjoyed the new format. Comment down below. Hey, uh, give us a five-star review on yeah. whether it's Spotify or Apple. I think that's where we're getting the most downloads. Share. Apple. Share it with your friends. Yeah, we get the most on Apple. Really? Second most on cool. Spotify. Awesome. Third most on Other. So hmm. if you're listening on Other, y'all, please leave a review. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know what Other is, y'all. But other that seems yeah, like some other. type of pronoun. Thing. That's like a ZZ or Zim thing, I think. <laughs> and we didn't even get to talk about half of the of the Social Security, half of the Secret Service being <laughs> well men. Well, yeah, but we're hey, we're not going to start that no, right now. We're not. But uh, I mentioned it. A little interesting. Bit in there. Interesting so. times, y'all. Yep. Um, interesting times we live in. Remember, y'all. Stay fearless, my friends.